Hi everyone, welcome to the second Saturday with the Saints. Today I will be telling you about Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton and her life. So let's begin. Um, Elizabeth Ann Seton was born Elizabeth Ann Bailey on August 28, 1774 in New York City to an Episcopal well-to-do family. Her mother died in 1777 when Elizabeth was only three years old and her baby sister died the next year in 1778. In 1794, when she was 19, she married William McGee Seaton, who was a wealthy businessman at the time, and together they had five children. They moved to Italy, and while living in Italy in 1803, William died of tuberculosis, leaving Elizabeth a widow at the age of 29. While in Italy with her husband, she witnessed the Catholic faith being practiced by her family friends. In March 1805, she converted to Catholicism, which caused some family and friends to reject her. In 1809, she moved to Emmitsburg, Maryland, where she founded the Sisters of Charity of St. Joseph's. This was the first community for religious women in the United States. After she founded the Sisters, she began St. Joseph's Academy and Free School, which she started for her children. Throughout her life, she suffered great trials of sickness, misunderstanding, the death of loved ones, her husband and two of her young daughters, and the heartache of a wayward son. She died on January 4th, 1821. Elizabeth, or more often called Mother Seton, was canonized a saint on Sunday, September 14th, 1975, in St. Peter's Square by Pope Paul VI. She was the first citizen in the United States to be given the title of saint. At her canonization, Pope Paul VI said, Elizabeth Ann Seton is a saint. Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton is an American. All of us say this with special joy and with the intention of honoring the land and the nation from which she sprang forth as the first flower in the calendar of saints. Elizabeth Ann Seton was wholly American. Rejoice for your glorious daughter. Be proud of her and know how to preserve her fruitful heritage. Her remains are now entombed in Emmitsburg in the Basilica at the National Shrine that bears her name. Her legacy now includes religious congregations and schools in the United States and Canada whose members work on the unmet needs of people living in poverty in North America and beyond. Should you find yourself in Emmitsburg, Maryland, the National Shrine of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton is a beautiful place to visit. They offer many different themed tours, including the Historic Homes Tour, where they show the houses where she started her school and also her religious order, respectively. I have been there myself many times, and it is a beautiful, quiet, respectful place to pray and to reflect and highly recommend. <laughs> See you next week.